here in Medjugorje and I'm with Robert. He's a YouTuber from Ireland. And Robert, when did you hear the first time about Medjugorje and what did you think at the time? Be honest, I, you told me already a bit about I it. I did. I heard the first time about Medjugorje back in 1991 mm -hmm. when I met Franciscans from this town in Italy. And, uh, I didn't follow it that much, but afterwards, you know, I heard some bad stories from the from the town, and and uh, and I never really got involved. I have no, I had no uh, uh, interest in the town. You know, I was more agnostic than anything else. I, I just said, you know, I hope I hope uh, people don't feel defrauded or uh, from 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 this experience in the town. But um, do you know what? It's uh, it's been life changing. It's been life changing since the last year, uh, really coming to this place. Uh, a big thank you to a friend of mine, Fergal Flynn, uh, Legion of Mary. He's, uh, he invited me at the time, but um, I think I was just mentioning before I started, the reason I came to Medjugorje last year was um, my son got knocked down by a car. Yeah. Like over the car and broke the and somebody gave me a Medjugorje rosary, this Medjugorje rosary. Mm -hmm. John, a friend of mine, uh, the day before he got knocked down and nothing happened to my son, even though, you know, it could have been worse. Uh, and my wife kept saying, it's a miracle that nothing happened to Christopher. But I said, oh, look, what's the chance that somebody gives you a rosary from Medjugorje the day something like that happened? So I booked a flight, to, <laughs> I booked the pilgrimage to come to Medjugorje last year with, uh, with um, my daughter and myself and so we came here and uh, it was just incredible it's a it's a whole school of prayer here it's it's just heaven and earth um, and I don't know how to explain it just the location itself just the town the mountains um, it's like a Catholic village you know and and, and I'm here I'm not I'm not the um, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not going to, I'm not the uh, spokesperson for this and I'm not here promoting it in, in the sense that I just say, come and see. That's all I, I would ask people to come and see. I mean, Tom, you're doing the, the greatest documentary on Medjugorje that has ever been done, you know, cataloging people's experiences. And, and my experience is really not something that I went looking for because I didn't go looking for Medjugorje. I would have gone to other Marian shrines, Guadalupe or Nock or uh, other uh, um, shrines like uh, Our Lady of Europa, um, uh, Our Lady of Pompeii, Częstochowa, all these shrines that I love but I never felt a calling to come here. But it's, I think sometimes Our Lady steps in and she and she brings you here. This is this is the simple reality. You you get a a sign that says come here. And I can't explain this place other than, you know, the, it's the greatest confession of the world. It's, um, it's just a place of peace. And there was a friend of mine, he's a priest. We were seminarians together. We know each other for 30 years. He's an Italian priest, Father Pierluca Bancale. And he's been coming here for years and years and years and years. And dozens and dozens of pilgrimages. And he and you never wanted to come? because No, he, he, he kept saying to me, it's like heaven and earth, Robert. And I said, you know, I... I yeah, but how do you know? How, how? Maybe they're all inventing it. It's all a uh, a fraud. A fraud, and you know, and then you don't want to lend your faith to to you don't know what's going to happen. But I suppose what I'm what the message I'm giving people is, you know, in years to come, the church will decide one way or the other. They will make a decision. You know, and and I recommend people come to Medjugorje for the sacraments. Maybe you're, you don't understand the messages, come for the sacraments. The Mass is the real Mass, the real present, body, blood, soul and divinity, beating heart of our Lord is present here, as in everywhere else. And you can pray the rosary, go to confession, and just be immersed yourself in prayer in the sacraments. That's what this town is. It's town of prayer. You see it and I see it. You know, we're all praying here. Um, it's kind of strange, Tom and myself, <laughs> I woke up this morning and I had... Um, I, have a ma I still have a massive headache. I'm very, very, not feeling very well at all. Um, but I walked in, I said I needed a coffee, so I, 
and you're sitting here <laughs> and we That's just like how this interview happened. Yeah, and then I was saying, No, maybe I won't do the interview because I'm I'm just not feeling well. But then it was like the Holy Spirit said, No, do it, you know, and I and I because I, I think people need to follow the documentary of Medjugorje that Tom is doing. This is really important. Follow the document because we're looking at the experiences of people, what's happening, how they're coming here, what's happening in their lives. You know, what is the fruits of the Holy Spirit? Like, what are the fruits of my life? Like, my life, like, I can look at myself interiorly and say, well, like, I'm a different person. I'm praying every day. I, I, I just breathe. <laughs> it's, I am. Um, let me get my breviary out here. And by the way, we have coffee here. That's Medjugorje too. That's like perfect. Cake, cake, yeah. coffee. And talking about our faith. Yeah. Look, there it is. Yeah, this is the, uh, this is the, the, it's the Advent season. So we're starting Advent. Today is starting Advent, yeah. So like, it's like, prayer is like, what is going on with me? I, I, I feel all the time wanting to pray. Why is that? I don't, I, I, I never felt I could pray. Mm-hmm. I don't know, I just felt prayer was so dry, I didn't understand prayer, I can't pray. And it's like, I wake up in the morning and I'm, I'm already in prayer. I'm in bed and, I, and, I'm, and I'm having a and I'm already in prayer. And it's like your mind, I used to suffer from all different things, like depressions and like really difficult. Mm-hmm. Like I've been through a 12 step program, I was very depressed, very, very, uh, I hate it. You know, I just couldn't have find peace in myself. And then all of a sudden, your you know, prayer is coming in there. You, you say, why am I changing? I, like, I, I literally don't have time to be thinking of anything else. Just, you know, I want to pray more. I want to learn how to pray more. And I'm enjoying it. That's a big thing, you know, some people, I love prayer now, it's just very strange. Did you have like an experience with God, like Jesus said, the rebirth in the spirit that you, in your heart felt the love of God the Father for you? That's yes. why you co- can connect now? Yeah, That's it's happening. Father Brendan Walsh, an Irish priest. What happened? Oh, he prayed over me. Mm-hmm. So the first time he prayed over me, I just thought, this is all crazy, this is all charismatic craziness. I think the, the, he's just bonkers, this priest. <laughs> and, and, and I said it to a friend of mine, I said, I don't believe in your, this Father Brendan Walsh, and I just think it's all emotional. And, uh, and what is it? Well, he, this friend of mine, he, he, uh, he, he took the time to explain it to me. Like, he didn't get angry, he didn't get annoyed, he just uh, explained to me, I said, oh, okay, maybe, maybe there's something here I need to go deeper. Mm-hmm. And it's the humility. If we don't have humility, if you're not allowed to let yourself, okay, let's be humble here. So he prayed over me a second time. And, uh, uh, and I said, Lord, I'm here. If you have something to say to me through this priest, I'm willing to listen. So I just said, I'd be humble. It was like a ton of bricks. It was like this rainfall from heaven. You know, it says, oh, now I understand there's... Uh, and, and it was kind of strange after that, you know, these God incidences, these strange events. It was like things were just, you know, um, you know, because, uh, you know, they, they, they just things went very different in my life. Now, I, I suffered a lot of abuse uh, and I don't I don't uh, talk about it in my videos for, for, for various reasons. And it's a private thing. It's a private thing. And um it, it's a private thing and I'm... But you can I, give hope. What would yeah. you tell people? So many people these days are abused. Oh, gosh. If they knew the gift of... If they knew the well, mm-hmm. if they knew who Christ is, mm-hmm. they would be transformed. Mm-hmm. Just trust in Christ. That's all I say. Just trust in our Lord. You know, take up a rosary, pray, um, go to confession the Eucharist. Do the simple things of prayer and you'll see how a lady comes in and she really takes you, if you're humble now, you have to you have to be sincere and humble in your own heart and see how our lady comes in and, and transforms you. That's, she she always brings you to Christ. She's the quickest way of getting you to her son. That's for our Protestant friends, the role of our lady. Oh, critical and there's a, there's a, um, there's a uh, French 
um, a Frenchman, uh, Jean Curry. Mm -hmm. He has a book written, uh, Praying with the Heart, and he talks, he's been explaining this to us, you know, the importance of Mary in, in bringing us in, in our in bringing us to Christ, she's uh, Saint Louis de Montfort also talks about. It. She's the surest way to bring it. So like, this is the amazing thing about this place, Tom. It's it's for some reason we are being led to Christ here. We're not we're not Mary maniacs. We are Christ maniacs. We are being led to Christ. We are being. It's Our Lady there. Come on, come on, come on. Closer, come on. So, Next one. I'll tell you one experience yeah. from Medjugorje last year. Yeah. So last year you came the first time. Last year I came the first time, okay. and uh, and uh, it was very, very, very intense experience. Very strange. Mm -hmm. um, but I was in St James's Church inside the church, yeah. and if you know there's stained glass windows yes. across the top, and if you go one, two, three down, you have Our Lady in front of a cross. Yes. So I yesterday looked at it. You, yeah. this way, so I was in this church and Our Lady was there with me and she said, Robert, she, take, she took me by the hand in my in prayer. Come to my son, come to my son. It was like, just come and stand with my son. It's like she's, she's on, she's really bringing us on that, on that journey to her son. And I just think it's, it's a beautiful, it's a beautiful um, place. That's all I can say. I mean, I, and, and I think the books will be written about this. I don't feel worthy at all. Mm -hmm. I don't think, you know, I said it to our Lord, I said, you really picked the wrong people here. <laughs> uh, because I had no, no, as I said in my channel, I didn't intend to set up this channel. Mm -hmm. It was just pure frustration. Yeah, was, explain. Mm -hmm. No, I just said that I, I was on the Eucharist. I would think we could be doing a little bit more to, to bring people to the Eucharist. Mm -hmm. And it was pure frustration that I did the channel. After I heard a talk from Patrick McChrystal uh, in Knock in twenty uh, third uh, or of nineteenth um, of October, nineteen nine two thousand nineteen, just before the pandemic, and I just thought, look, we could do we could do a little bit more. So it was pure frustration. I, I did the channel, and then it grew and grew. Um, what is the name of the channel? It's De Crevy Determined to Be Catholic. So, uh, De Crevy is our, is our family's name. Mm -hmm. I will put it in the description of the video that yeah. you can find it. Yeah. yeah. So, we've, we Nugents mm -hmm. have been coming to the Balkans for the last 400 years. Unbelievable. Yeah. The circle is closing. The circle is closing. And, and uh, actually, my cousin, he, um, he had a castle in Trasat mm -hmm. in Croatia. And it's actually not far from a very major sanctuary where Our Lady our Lady's House of Loreto seemingly stopped yes. in that region. Now I haven't, I don't know all the history, but he wanted to build this big Franciscan town mm -hmm. around, our, <laughs> around Our Lady, yeah. um, which never happened, which never happened. So uh, it was very bizarre where Countess Anna Nugent, my cousin, she was the last Nugent of the Croatian branch. She died at 83, just before um, World War, just after World War II. So that was the end of the, of that project in, in Croatia, but you know it's strange. We 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 seem to be connecting and, and different generations coming back to the same lands uh, over and over again. It's it's very very bizarre, you know. And uh, um, you know, Our Lady got her Franciscan town mm -hmm. at the end of the day. She got her town of prayer, which is very, if you think about it, you know, because he, he had this vision in the 1800s to do this 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 this. Catholic town with Franciscans and a monastery and everything and and you know what it it, it worked out in another way in another strange way because as you know this is Herzegovina this is a a, a Catholic Croat region in a sense even though it's in in Bosnia Herzegovina it's in it's, it's a, they all speak Croatian here. yes like correct Croatian. correct so it's a you know it's a the 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 vision he had nearly 200 years ago of, uh, of doing this town and we're seeing it here today. I, I would love to ask my cousin what he thought of, uh, of uh, 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 you know, the, the future of it, you know, and uh, he was a major, uh, people may not realize this, but he was a major influence in the Illyrian movement, which was the Croatian independence movement. Mm -hmm. So uh, his son uh, fought with Croatians, they spoke Croatian, they dressed uh, as traditional Croatian, uh, Croatians and they were the, the last uh, Francopans 
of the last Frankopans because he had married uh, he had married a lady a Sforza uh, uh, from from Naples because he he defeated the Murash the horseman of Europe Napoleon's brother-in-law he defeated him in battle under Monte Cassino and uh, and he became he became uh, famous then after that you know and leading people into battle so anyway it's it's interesting to come back close the circle that you are coming to the Balkans I, and I think this is a bigger battle and than you people didn't want to come no you know, we have to say to no the said it's a fraud. no I, I, I did not did not no, because I don't like lending myself. Sure. My, I Nobody, don't like, really you know, I don't like, discern. yeah. So, and yeah. the way I've discerned it, yeah. the church will decide. It will say, yes, it's from God. No, it's from God. I stay with Christ. I stay with the Eucharist. And I can't go wrong. Nobody can go wrong with the rosary in the Eucharist. These are age old, Beautiful mysteries of the church, you know, the, especially the Eucharist, is a beautiful age-old mystery. Time and time again, it will nourish us, he will feed us, he will help us. And you know, whatever is happening in this town, we, we, we stay with Christ. So if, if you're looking at this video and saying, no, I, it's a fraud, did you read this book, did you read that? That's okay, that's okay that you believe that. Because it's not part of our faith to believe in, a, in an apparition. It's not part. If it helps you, good. If it doesn't, you're, so you're perfectly fine to criticize Medjugorje. But for me, it's, it's just heaven and earth. It's a place where I love the prayer and the sacraments. So I'm encouraging people to, uh, to come here. I'm encouraging people to look at the documentary that Tom is doing on this channel because it is a documentary on Medjugorje. We will need all of these videos in years to come so that we can understand people's experiences. So if you're in Medjugorje, maybe reach out to Tom, share your five minute video with him on, on, um, on your thoughts on Medjugorje, or maybe even send Tom a video. Tom, here's a video of my testimony. Would you want to put on, if you feel it, put it on your channel? So, so that we have maybe a small, maybe you can do a little documentary each month of videos that are put in, do an hour documentary, uh, put them all together and say, these are, these are the testimonies that arrived to me this week. Keep this going, keep filming. Let's, let's, let's keep looking at what's happening in this town. Um, and that's all I can say. I said, as I said, let, let our lady lead us to, let our lady lead us to her son. Um, there's a great battle coming. There's, which people don't realize, you know, we were, we were, um, we grew up with stories of, uh, of the great battles, you know, the, our family was in the Battle of Hastings. And then we saw the, the, the different, you know, Normans coming over, uh, you know, so there's, 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 we were involved in great battles during, during the, the centuries. And this is the greatest battle of, of, all, time. of all time. You know, if you just think about it, this is the greatest battle of all time. And uh, because it's our battle, it's a battle between good and evil that, that people don't seem to see what's happening. And, and Our Lady is preparing us for this battle. Her Immaculate Heart will triumph. And we won't understand it until we see it. You know, so we have, we have um, you know, just, just the, 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 the arms that we need for this battle are the, are the Rosary and the Eucharist, Our Lady and Christ. This is, this is how we will win this battle. Can you explain a bit about the beauty of the Eucharist and then of the Rosary? Well, it, go you? it goes back to, <clears throat> it goes back to Don Bosco's vision mm -hmm. of, of the Pope mm -hmm. uh, steering the church you know, through the, through the Eucharist and Our Lady. And, um, you know, we, we are in this, we are in this, this, this storm at the moment. We see, we see the Pope horribly attacked. And um, in, in attacking him for good or for bad, what people think, but we are actually destroying, we are actually destroying the church, you know, so, um, we're actually just if we if we destroy the papacy, we we are actually destroying the church. And I think so many people are reaching out to me, desperate for prayer, desperate to know God. And uh, you know, we get caught up in this politics, and the politics will continue. But we need to we need to go deeper into prayer. We need to bring people to prayer. We we desperately need the prayer. 
You know, so what is what is the you know you say the rosary? Other people say it's the weapon of our times. Yeah. But starting first, what is prayer? Is it for you also a personal conversation with Jesus? Like you can do that wherever you are. Talk to him. Yeah. So you have this problem. Yeah. Explain yeah. A bit well, you well, what prayer is for you. Prayer is is first of all, it's the greatest proof of God's existence because it's it's you in prayer that you that you that you encounter counter Christ. But the thing is that I would ask people to do, let Our Lady bring you to Christ. Let So just, just think of the rosary as the hand of Our Lady. So you put the rosary in your hand. This is the hand of Our Lady and you're saying, Blessed Mother, take me to your son. She always does this. If you come with humility and love, Blessed Mother, I don't know how to pray. I don't know where to go. Can you just take me someplace to your son? She will always do it. If you go with humility, not going with pride like a magic trick. Oh, I'm going to put the rosary and I'm going to see if this magic works. No, 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 it's not anything like this. It's humility, it's love. I want to know Christ. Blessed Mother, take me to Christ. She's always helped me. Always, always, you know, she always, if whatever, you know, um, puts people in contact with me or, or I meet somebody and, and I just, I'm just asking people, Let's bring people to Christ in the Eucharist in prayer. You know, uh, as you said, I, I'm, I love my traditional Latin Mass. I'm very traditional, but I'm in the sense that, I, that that's where I, I, I love that type of reverence. I just ask people to, to, uh, to unite ourselves around Christ and to bring people to his beating heart, you know. And it's, 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 um, it's a really important that we do this now um, and not divide the church. Can you explain a bit, you know, my brother told me, my brother said, ask the people, because, because a lot of people think God the Father is an angry old man with no. a white beard and he waits to judge us and happy then he puts us to heaven. No, yes. no. Somebody said it's, it's um, a demonic image of God the Father. Yes. Can you explain, you said bring it to the heart of Jesus, the yes. heart of Jesus explaining what yes. God the Father is. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk from my own experience. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter what you think you are, what you've done, you know, you don't change the nature of God. God's nature is what God's nature is, which is love. He can't help but wanting to save us, love us. This is his, and nothing we will do will change him. We will change ourselves. Sin changes us. It separates us. It uh, creates wounds in us but it doesn't change God. It's an offense against him because we're moving away from him. So, you know, God is complete love. And if you want to know who God is, you just have to read the prodigal son. Actually, that parable encompasses everything about God. He's standing there, he's waiting. Uh, you know, he gives you the ring and he clothes you and he brings you, gives you dignity because God gives you the dignity. And this is what people need to really put in their minds. The, the God puts dignity back on us our self-worth, he gives you, he clothes you anew. So that's what prayer does. It starts to clothe you and you in that dignity that, that, that God brings out in yourself. So, you know, you don't have to worry, you don't have to hate yourself, feel resentment or anything like this. You just have to step into God's embrace. So just, just be very, people need to be very careful on the image of God here because some movements in the church, they take God and then they they, they, they make a uh, plagiarized or a, uh, a um, fake copy of God and they present an image of God that's not God. You know, a, a God that's so strict that was like a dictator God and that's not God. God is the, the father of the prodigal son and we have Christ's words to understand who God is. And prayer draws you closer to God. And you have to offer yourself, Lord, here I am, my sin, my past, everything, I give it to you. You take it. It's really important. Um, and that's why next year in Ireland we have Jean Curry. He's going to do a, a course on this because I'm not the expert. But he's spent years developing this uh, Carmelite spirituality. I think it's so needed. I will put it in the description. Yeah, the yeah. Well. He's got a, a beautiful book called Praying with the Heart, the little way. Um, and it's just, when I read that book, I just thought, oh, what a, what a beautiful, simple book, 93 pages on prayer. And I actually asked Our Lady, this is how Our Lady works. People don't, I, I, I have a statue in my office and I said, Blessed Mother, can you get Jan Curry to come to Ireland to give us a talk? 
and he did. He reached out, he said, oh, he touched base and said, this is very strange. He's, and, and then he came and he gave us a talk at the Derry Adoration. Our Lady, if, if it's going to bring us to her son, she will do, put the people that need to do it. So just, just go into prayer. Don't worry about your sin. Offer to Christ, go to confession, because he doesn't want you thinking about it. Your past is past, you can't change it. Stop thinking about it. Stop thinking about your, your mental castles that we build in our mind of, of resentments and fears and anxieties and I can't do this. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Put on a new mind that, that, are, that Christ is going to give you, a new way. You know, it's like the sun is coming out here. The sun doesn't change. We change. We can go indoors or we can come out to the sun. The sun is always going to be the, the same every day, the same energy, the same... We change. We go in. We, 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 go, we go hiding from... Get out to Christ and get out to the sun. So that's, that's my, my encouragement. Um, and, uh, you know, I uh, just want to, um, you know, thank Tom for your, um, for your, your videos. Um, I've been following your work all the time. I look at all your videos. I put them on the car. Thank you. Just to hear the, the experience, you know, what people are experiencing, you know, and... Um, what would you tell people who are like scared to go to confession? For you, it's natural to go to confession. What would you tell them? You know, we're all cut from the same cloth. We all, you know... Uh, well, look, the, the first thing I'd say to you is... Um, if you don't talk about this, it's going to consume you. And there's nothing that, that the priests haven't heard that haven't heard before. So you just park it. We had a men's adoration in Derry and um, somebody rang me up yesterday. I won't say their name, but uh, they said, uh, do you know what? There were so many men that hadn't gone to confession in years. Hadn't gone in years. And that's, uh, and they came to Derry and they went to confession, in, you know, and you, and I just think you don't have to live with that that what you're, what you're carrying. No. We are supposed to be happy. There's a Christian joy. Catholic joy. There's a joy. It's the best philosophy in the Catholic faith. Yeah. To be joy and in joyful yeah. peace and love. In love no? It's actually strange. When I started this video, I had a massive headache. Yeah. And as I'm doing the video, I'm actually feeling a lot better. <laughs> <laughs> it's the best anesthetic. Yeah. See? That's yeah. how all yeah. To Tom yeah. <laughs> Better than an ibuprofen or anything. <laughs> So did you hear that? You all come to Medjugorje. Come to Medjugorje. Okay? Come, just, just, just come. Just come. Just, just do the prayer. You don't have to. Don't overthink it. Just don't overthink it. Come to Medjugorje. It's got all the services, mm -hmm. which are important. You've got a beautiful mountain. You can walk here. You can get exercise. You have confession. You have the sacraments. It's a simple town. It's nothing extravagant. Just come. Just and you can have look, cake, yeah, cake. and hot chocolate, <laughs> hot espresso, whatever ex you like. Yeah, espresso. <laughs> good prices. Exactly, it's and good prices. And the sea, there's Croatia next to it. There's Croatia, you can go to Split, you can go to Dubrovnik, you maybe go up to Trisat. Uh, highly recommend it. Uh -huh, yeah, your ancestors. <laughs> yeah, it's my ancestor. It's just that castle, and uh, you know, just just come to Croatia and uh, experience. Uh, exper come to Bosnia uh, Herzegovina and experience it. And um, can I ask you another question? Yeah. You said you were in the seminary. You are married now. Yeah. You went to a proper process of discernment. A lot of people in Medjugorje, around the world, they look for their vocation. Catholics who take their faith serious. They want to live in the will of Christ. What would you give them as a recommendation after your long journey? Prayer. Prayer. Learn how to pray. Mm -hmm. There's a there's a man in America called Dan Burke. Mm -hmm. Avila Institute, um, and he has the, mm -hmm. the Apostle Livia. Dan Burke has worked with 500 men on discernment. Yes. So if you're looking to get discernment, as a man looking for a priest, Talk, uh, if you're in America, talk to Dan Burke and he, he'll help you. He'll link you in with a lot of people that will, that will talk to you, help you. You'll understand prayer, you know, understand the spiritual life. Do this before you go into a seminary. Do not go into a seminary without having discerned with a lot of good men, uh, you know, um, like just, just, just discern widely with a large group of people. That if they see in you a calling to the priesthood, then then you, you'll go into a seminary better. So 
uh, he just I just actually looking at a video Dan Dan Burke published and he had 500 they've helped 500 men in their discernment process and uh, so prayer is the most important if you don't understand prayer before you go into a seminary I mean starting the small building blocks because it's something that will grow across your life uh, you know you need to have a strong sacramental life a strong confession life uh, you know the Eucharist. the Eucharist yeah, These simple things, stones, yeah. simple things. If you do not have that, please save yourself the misery of a seminary. Do not go in. Yeah. Don't go in if you're not if you're not sincerely open to that life of prayer, mm -hmm. to the sacraments, mm -hmm. and let them form you. Um, if you're if you're doing that, if you're working with priests and you're working, um, you know, with uh, with good spiritual directors, get a wide discernment with a gr large group of people. Say. You know, Dan, Dan Burke in America, he'll, he has all the connections, get a wide discernment in there, and they will see in you, okay, well, this man, he has the potential, he has the, the love of the faith, and we can work with him. That's, where, that's why we need the church. It's in the church with a large discernment process that we, we move forward. We never go along and say, oh, I, I can do it on my own. <laughs> that doesn't work. We I don't, tried it. I we can tell you don't work fall. on your own. You cannot get to heaven on your own. You That's get why to we don't need. We need the Savior that Jesus says. Yes. You know, he's there yes. when you fall. There you need absolutely. the Savior. Absolutely. Absolutely. So it's an amazing time to be, yeah. to be Catholic. And, um, you know, and we need these strong... Um, we need to learn how to pray more. Mm -hmm. it's, it's my... Actually, my, my mission after Medjugorje in my channel is mm -hmm. prayer. I'm just going to I'm 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 going to stop the whole politics side because I don't think that's feeding anybody and it's actually okay we need to take up this this challenge of teaching people how to pray you know and and I when I was with Jan in uh, in Ireland he was such an inspiration on 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 prayer and I said this is amazing this is a revelation this is so beautiful you know the Carmelite spirituality and St. Well, Teresa. I mean, he's is, here. Can you say it in a, in a, in a nugget? It's he's really. I mean, it's it's the it's the living tradition of the church. Mm -hmm. Prayer. You know that the prayers of the of the, the Carmelite spirituality, the prayers that uh, the the method and the, the process of, of prayer that, that, that the saints speak about. We need to bring this uh, to into the world today and 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 build on this and 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 have uh, you know. <laughs> Introduces many people to this school of prayer that started here in Medjugorje, in the, heart, like in the part. Yes, you go into the heart. Yeah. People, people under Jean gave me gave this amazing, amazing analogy. You know, we have our head and our heart. We pray here. We don't pray up here. So when you've got distractions up here, he says, "Well, I'm not up here, so you, the distractions can go this way. I'm down here. I get distracted. I come back to my heart." And I pray here. It's like the Hesychus, the Greek, the Greek monks also talk about, uh, you know, the, 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 the prayer. It's in here. And we need to start to pray in here, know how to pray in here. So this, like, I'm completely convinced about this and I'm completely, um, I can't wait to, to, to go deeper into prayer and to, to actually leave something behind when I die that will actually um, maybe help somebody. But it won't be our work. It's... It's Our Lady, you know, it's really her, you know. She's the secret is let Jesus walk exactly, through you. Exactly, exactly. Okay. Open your heart to him, say, thy will be done. That's yes, the secret to Yes, yes. And prayer will transform the church. Yeah, I It will absolutely transform people's lives if we taught people how to pray. And this is the sad thing. And then after the council in the 70s, there was such a crisis in the church. Because in our seminaries, we weren't teaching people how to pray. Mm -hmm. And you have this living encounter with Christ, and we're not we're not we're not showing people how to have act. that living encounter. Yeah, no. It's a personal relationship. Yes, a relationship. It's a personal. It's a person. You're meeting somebody real. Our God. Like a person talking to you. Yes. In the heart, no? Yes. And let him talk. You know, you you pick up the breviary yeah. or you pick up the the Bible. You know, these are his actual words. What do they say to you? So. Um, it's Look, it's it's can, very. Can I, can I ask you another question? Yeah. For, for, it's so amazing. The favorite saint for you? Oh, would have to be Saint Teresa of Lisieux. Why? Uh, just her simplicity. You know, uh, uh, she she took the she took Saint John of the Cross and Saint Teresa of Avila, and she made uh, she made it simple, mm -hmm. so that we could understand it, and 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 
prayer is simple. It's, it's, anybody that, that makes it very complicated doesn't know how to pray. Prayer has to be simple. Childlike. Simple. Childlike, because we're asked to be like children. We're not, not, not to be blah, 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 but to actually, a, actually allow us, ourselves to be guided like children. You know, so um, that's so, your secret as well. That's why you are so happy and enthusiastic and joyful. Do you know what? Yeah. As I said, I'm as broken as the next person. I am no saint <laughs> at all. Do you know? And uh, I've had my problems and my uh, my my difficulties. And uh, but if you stop pray, if you if you don't pray, mm -hmm. your problems aren't going to get any better. Mm -hmm. It's only a prayer that will 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 actually. Uh, transform our lives so like just I'm, and I'm t and I'm asking people even if you're not a Medjugorje uh, supporter if you think it's a complete fraud or whatever thing don't that's okay you know but just don't don't neg neglect the living tradition of the church if people go to knock in Ireland it's a, it's a it's a it's a uh, apparition and uh, you go in there and there's a in the apparition chapel, there's a there's the Lamb and there's the cross, and then there's Saint John and Our Lady Saint Joseph. Just above the cross is a stained glass window, and above that cross is a well. Because on one side is Our Lord, and the other side is a Samaritan woman, and and Our Lord at the well, and you have a well over the Lamb of God, a well over the cross. You have a lady there with a bucket about to be dipped into the and what's what's at the bottom of the well in knock it's christ and i just said or when i saw that i said who designed it i don't think people know it's the christ we need to be putting the bucket into christ every day to get the bucket in drink that water that christ wants to transfer my headache is completely gone <laughs> this Hallelujah. Is very strange <laughs> But yeah, it's, but it's a living water, you know, because you're talking out of the Holy Spirit and it's ah, cleansing us. It's absolutely. Cleansing the headache, it's everything. our baptismal water. It's, it's the living water that we need to be and the pushing the bucket. And the cake is by the way. It's good cake here and good coffee, no, you like it? Oh. But it's the living water. Yeah. It you is. Know, because you're opening up how you're talking. I, I nearly cry here, you know, yeah. because it's honest. I can feel you. You went through a lot of pain to get to the stage. Yeah. Now, no? Yeah. And do uh, you know what? And, uh, and, and it's important that people don't get defeated. You know, if you're not the perfect person, and I'm not the perfect person, yeah. uh, w you need to pray more when you're, when you don't feel you want to pray. I, I'm just not this, and I've done this wrong, and I'm, you're there in self condemnation. It's just, no, look, you learn, you, you confess, you move on, you try, you let your life be transformed. Because if we, if we stay, if we stay in our resentments and our fears, know, know the smoke of Satan in your spiritual life. Know what he tries to do, because he'll always try to stop you praying. And when you, when you feel you need to stop praying is when you need to pray more. Go to adoration, just sit there. Sit there, say, Lord, I'm here. Put out your arms in adoration. Lord, I'm here in adoration. Um, I don't feel well, I'm feeling very low. And just be there for the hour. He mightn't say anything. You mightn't feel anything. Another thing about the spiritual life, we don't, we don't base it on our feelings. It's the, the, all of the number, all of, this, all of the, the masters of prayer. No, we don't base it on feelings because it, it's going, it, the, the work that God is doing is far, far, far deeper where we don't feel. But if we don't go into prayer, he can't, he can't do the work because we didn't spend time with the, with, the, with the divine surgeon. So we need to spend that time and, and, and just do it for 30 days and see how your life changes. Pray a rosary, you know. It's actually the, the aperitif of a big meal. It's like the, it's the, it's the prayer of the heart. You, you pray the rosary and it's like, a, it's like a beautiful small plate of food that you start the big meal on. And so pray it and allow yourself to go into prayer. And this is all I can say, you know. I, so I could talk for hours. This I'm is so beautiful. passionate. <laughs> I say, Do you, you have know. something else on the heart what you would like to tell people? About? No, I'm, don't. Just go to Christ. Uh, that's the person I love. You know, um, I am really, I am really nobody. Even though it's a channel which I never intended to start, mm -hmm. didn't intend to have this following. Um, really didn't, not planned. You know, as I said, I have a full-time job and I have a family. Didn't set out to do a channel. Um, go to Christ. Just go to Him. You know, know Him. Know Him in His church. 
know the Eucharist, know him, know his beating heart in the Eucharist, know him. You know, this is what we need to be doing. The, the, uh, you know, it, it, what's the point in having millions of people looking at your videos if people are not speaking to Christ? You know, everything we. This That's is what. That's why my channel is as well. I want that people have this relationship. Yes. They start praying, coming yes. back to confession, rosary yes. prayer. Yes. Yes. And, and that, that the Eucharist, the crown of yes. everything, receiving Christ. That's Our Protestant friends. This is the most intimate relationship you can have. It's the Eucharist. Yes. You are fooled by yeah. doctrine. Yes. And you are. Deprived, you say deprived? Deprived. Deprived of the most beautiful thing and the most beautiful helper, which is Our Lady. She's not a goddess, she's leading us to Christ in all humility. She's just a role model how we should all Christians live yep. in humility. No? It is. And so, um, you know, that's, that's, my, that's what I feel Our Lady is asking us to do. I mean, I get so many messages from people. It's, yeah. it's very humbling to see, uh, you know, and I, and, I, and I suppose the only message I can give now is we need to go deeper into prayer. We need to, especially uh, times uh, yeah, coming. Yeah, and take up your rosary. And when you go into prayer, put your rosary in your hand and you will, have, you will be in prayer with the hand of Our Lady. In prayer, she will be there with you and she will bring you to her son. Because Our Lady is like this, she has a mirror. So if you, when you look at Our Lady, she doesn't ever want you looking at her. She's a mirror, and in that mirror, she reflects her son. You know, it's go to her. She would never take an ounce of, of anything that her son should be having. She is completely, uh, the, um, it's very strange. Focused on him. I thought, uh, that's her whole mission, yeah. you know, and uh, so anyway. And I, at the end, what would you tell people why come to Medjugorje? Uh, the prayer. Prayer. Okay, okay, so the weather is good. Yep. It's, it's, it's not bad weather today and it's uh, December. Mm -hmm. it's, it was 15 degrees here yesterday. Mm -hmm. The weather, you have services, mm -hmm. you have uh, priests and confession, you have sacraments, you've got the, the environment, you've got the hills for walking. Just on the human level, it's, it, 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 it helps you pray, on the human level. And, and it's, it's, a, it's just a Catholic oasis of, of, of peace. So like, uh, if you're agnostic about the messages, that's okay. That's okay. Just, just, just come to Croatia and, or, and Bosnia. And just come to Medjugorje. It's not, it's, if, if you're looking for some place to find peace, just come here. I guarantee you, Our Lady is going to use it for one for 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 her plan at some stage, and we just have to keep praying, you know. And um, wow. um, yeah. Thank you for that beautiful interview. I'll do one of yours next <laughs> later on in the week. We do. Yeah. Ciao.